Hi guys, welcome to my debut video for FluffTube. Um, my name is Stacy Clark and this is Stacy Stitches. So I just wanted to hop on here and start a floss tube because I love cross stitch and I love watching everyone else do their floss tube. So um, I thought it'd be a good way to really immerse myself in the community um, because I find that this community is so great, so helpful, so kind, and um, what did my husband say? Wholesome. Though I would beg to differ because some of us don't seem very wholesome on here, but that's okay. So a little about me. Um, I, my husband and I moved to Florida about 15 years ago. We were both born and raised outside Philadelphia, about a quarter mile outside the city. Um, we both, um, went to the same high school, but we are about four years age difference. So we didn't run in the same circles and we met after high school. We've been married for, it'll be 18 years this year in March. And we have a seven-year-old son, Daniel, who's in first grade. Um, and here in Florida, he is back in school, which I thank, I'm so thankful for because I feel for all of you parents that are working and trying to do online school. I know it's a bear. We only had to do it for a short period of time. So I'm thankful for that. And I'm thankful that our teachers are so graciously taking the time to go back to work, um, even though it could be harmful to them. Um, I'm gonna insert a picture of my family, uh, me and my husband, Brian, and our son, Daniel. So I'll insert that here. So my stitching journey probably started when I was a preteen. My aunt um, taught me how to stitch. I don't think my mother stitched very much, but she did, she did a few things, usually Christmas ornaments and things like that, but she wasn't the one who taught me. My aunt taught me. Um, and over the years I've done different projects, mostly, you know, Christmas ornaments or birth records or marriage records. And it wasn't until the pandemic hit that I really immersed myself back into the craft. And then I discovered floss tube. And then I just fell into a rabbit hole of all these new interesting designers. And not everything is about ornaments or um, birth records or samplers. It's, there's such a variety of patterns and artists and designers and Fancy floss, I never knew about fancy floss. I thought there was only DMC. I mean, come on. Now there's so much stuff out there that you can you can use and you can express yourself with. Um, I'm still stuck in the decorate my house mode. So a lot of my stitching is geared toward that. Um, my husband is a woodworker, so he uh, wants to make me objects to help finish my projects, which is great except if I finish before him and I want to get it FFO'd, fully finished, I have to wait for him to finish what I asked him for. <laughs> so um, he also created me this great at-home workspace. This behind me, he built this. It's a, it's actually a um, Murphy bed. So my office does double duty as a guest room and an office and a crafting space um, for finishing. Uh, so, I've also discovered that cross stitching has really helped with my anxiety during this time, as I'm sure it has for a lot of other people. Um, doing something tactile and creative seems to help calm my nerves. And uh, I'm sure we've all felt that anxiety over the last year, um, particularly those in California and up north and some people out west who are still really really in a lockdown i i can't even imagine um florida is not that strict with their rules um however i haven't really left the house my husband does a lot of our shopping um so in that way it's been really nice that he has kept me in my son home and least exposed so um a lot of times on here, these first episodes, uh, everybody wants to know why floss tube, why get involved. 
Um, as I said earlier, this community has been really awesome. Um, I know as an adult, as a middle-aged woman, sometimes it's really difficult to find people to interact with, especially in online, you know. So I found that this community online really does create friendships. It's quite, quite um, hopeful. So um, I was inspired by the Steel City Stitchers, my girls, Erin, Erica, Jody, and Kristen. Um, we all have a little bit in common and we all have kind of similar personalities. Um, I also was inspired by Stitching with the Housewives, Chelsea and Priscilla. A lot of my finishing inspiration comes from them. And I love what they do and they're so adorable and they really took something that they love to do and made a thriving business out of it, which is amazing. Um, also, Bendy Stitchy, Michelle. I love watching her. I love... Um, I don't know what the, I love how political but non-political she is. I agree with a lot of the things that she says and I just feel kindness and sympathy and empathy exude from her all the time. Um, then my friend or my girl, Carla from Rolodex Stitching. I say she's my girl because I feel like I know her. She's, you know, from the Northeast. She is hilarious. So if you haven't checked her out, you really should. Um, and I was turned on to her by the Steel City Stitchers. So that's kind of why I felt like I should start a floss tube. Now I am totally uncomfortable speaking on camera, speaking about myself. I don't wear makeup. I am not a primpy girl, so I don't really primp too much. Um, and honestly, for the past year, I've been living in sweatpants or leggings and t-shirts. So that's you're, you're not gonna get any primping from me. Um, but let's get into stitching. So I have been whipping out some stuff over the last month. So I'm gonna be a little heavy on my um, fully finished objects and um, my whips. So I wanted to start off with one of my first FFOs. So I finished this here, Frosted Pumpkin Designs, Hugs and Kisses. I stitched this, oh, don't mind me. Like I said, I'm still working on how to do this with my phone. Um, but I stitched this on 14 count white opalescence Ada. Um, by Zweigart and I stitched it three over one because I like a little bit of that fuller coverage that a three strands will give you and I used all of the called for DMC except I changed the DMC 342 of the DMC 943 because my favorite color is purple so I wanted to put some purple in there and then I used some sticky board and tacked it on to um, another piece of sticky board with some fabric behind it. And then I found this really cute heart at Hobby Lobby and I spray painted it and put a magnet on it. And this hangs on a wall in my living room. Another, ins you know, inspired by um, Stitching with the Housewives. Um, the next thing I finished was Valentine Typography by Pine Mountain Designs. And now I'm realizing that everything with words on it might be backwards. I don't know how I'm going to fix that because I don't know how to edit. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm thinking maybe I need to turn my camera around. Anyway, you get the gist. So... I um, stitched this on 32 count natural linen that I had from MJ Textiles, which I don't even know if they're in, in business anymore. I've had it for maybe 20 years. And I just finished it in a frame from Hobby Lobby. And then I put this little 2020 charm on there and I put my initials in the hearts there. 
um, the other piece that I finished and mounted with um, magnets is this, the February Cottage of the Month from Country Cottage Needleworks. I found this cool, to me it looks like a headboard for a bed, but um, they're calling it a garden gate and it sits on my desk. Um, it's a little big, but I figure if I want to put something larger on it, I might be able to do that. So I love Country Cottage Needleworks. I don't live in the country and my house isn't really suited for country things, but I'll make do. I'll do what I have to, to put it out. My other finish was um, the February chart from uh, Hands on Design Year of Celebrations. I have a magnet, magnetic calendar in my kitchen, so I put this on there and change it out every month. Again, I'm really disturbed that this is coming up backwards, so I'll have to figure that out somehow. Um, but this is super cute. Again, just magnets on the back. And then, um, inspired by uh, Priscilla and Chelsea, I have a three-tiered tray on my mantle in my living room. So I created, I finished off two um, heart and hand uh, designs um, into pillows. So this is the Love You More, which I thought was really cute because um, this is something that me and my husband would say to each other all the time. And I stitched this on 32 count white petite point on natural linen, or raw natural linen by Zweigart. Stitched two over two with the called for um, fancy floss. And it came with these, these beads here. Ugh. These beads, sorry. These beads right there. And then the other heart and hand design one that I did was the 2017 Collector's Heart. Um, this says grow old along with me, the best is yet to be, which I also love because that is the song that my husband and I danced to on our wedding um, by Mary Chapin Carpenter. So I thought this was really cute. And I got this little pink Swiss dotted fabric, some polyfill. I'm still learning how to use my sewing machine, which I've had for over 20 years, but I still haven't figured out how to use it yet. Um, but we'll see how that goes. So those were my fully finished objects. Um, and bear with me if I keep looking down, I have an outline of all the stuff so that I don't forget anything. Um, so please be gentle, be kind which I know you all are. Um, so I am, like I said, I'm working on hands-on designs, year celebrations for each month. Um, I finished March, but I have not FFO'd it yet. Here it is. He's so cute. I kind of love that there's no face, except I miss a beard. I miss a beard on a leprechaun, don't you? Um, so I used all of the called for fancy flosses and this is stitched on 14 count Venetian stone by Ada by Wichelt and stitched two over two. So I will finish this off just like I finished the February so that I can hang it on my um, magnetic calendar in my kitchen. Then I was enabled. I was enabled by all you floss tubers, all you Instagrammers. And I had to buy, I just had to, had to buy Be My Boo by Top Hat Stitcher. So this is, these are works in progress now. He's so cute. I love him. And I'm thinking that even though it's a Valentine's Day pattern, I'm thinking that I might put him back out for Halloween, just cause he's so cute. So I am stitching him on 20, 
28 count even weave um, in the colorway Spooky from Fire Poppies. They had this grab bag of ornament sized um, fabric, so I grabbed a bag of that. It's um, stitched two over two with the called for DMC because I don't have any dinky dyes. I did order some dinky dyes from Abby. So that will be in my next video haul. Okay. Right now I have about 10 whips going on because I work on, I work on something different every day. Like I know there's some other people that do like Santa Saturdays or I don't do anything like that, but I do have an outline of what I work on every day. Like Mondays I do my salves. On Tuesdays I do, what do I do on Tuesdays? I can't remember what I do on Tuesdays. Wednesdays I do Halloween. Thursdays I do um, gifts, if I'm making a gift for somebody, so I do gifts. Um, Fridays I do patriotic or summer. And Saturdays I do Christmas or winter. Sundays, it's Stitcher's Choice, so I do whatever I want. Um, and now I can't recall what I do on Tuesdays still. So. I'll figure it out when we go through this pile of whips, though. And then while I'm working and on Zoom calls, sometimes I stitch my monthly things, like the year celebrations or the um, Cottage of the Month series, so that I can get them done on time. Okay, so my next one is... Country Cottage Needleworks, Cottage of the Month for March. And this is how far I am. I think I should go this way, maybe. I love these. I don't know why I love them so much. They're just so pretty and so cute. And I think I am like really skimping by on how um, much fabric I'm using. I am still learning about what size fabric I should use for each design. So this is stitched on 28 count lamb's wool linen by Witchelt, stitched two over two with the, with the called for DMC. I didn't want to purchase all the fancy floss for these and I think the DMC looks just as nice. And the next one is the Made to Create Cell by Caterpillar. I am not as far along as most of y'all. Um, because I had to frog out all of the orange because I used the wrong color. So, but I need to get working on this because I think the next one is coming out soon. But I love it. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with it though. I might put it in my stitchy journal. We'll see. And then my gift pattern. Um, I have a 10 year old niece um, and she uh, is also my goddaughter and she just redid her room so I wanted to get her something. She's so, she's super sassy um, and she's had some tragedy in her life even though she's only 10. Um, but I wanted to make her something that she could hang as an affirmation to herself every day before she leaves the house, before she goes to school. Not that she's going to school yet because she's back in Pennsylvania and they are still doing school online. So she, um, I got this pattern from Shiny Miss Crafts on Etsy. It's um, Don't Let Anyone Dull Your Sparkle. And her room is like a navy blue, so I wanted to do purple because I thought that would be nice. And purple's my favorite color, so why not, right? So I'm stitching this on a 28 count even weave um, in the colorway Blue Mist from Dove Stitch. I did a full color conversion on it. Um, I think the original was like black lettering with um, a gold sparkle stars or something. But I wanted to really use a variegated floss and a DMC diamond, which I haven't done yet. But I am stitching this with DMC 3937, variegation um, thread 62, 
DMC Etoile C5550 and 5554, and the diamond in um, silver. So I'm going to create the little sparklies in the silver. Um, I'm going, excuse me, I'm going to use the Etoile um, for the word sparkle. So it'll go, so there'll be don't let anyone, and then dull your is going to be in this same font with this same DMC, and then sparkle, I'm gonna use the etoile. If I'm saying that right, I'm not French, I don't know how to speak French, I never took French, so if I'm butchering the French, I apologize. The next thing I'm working on is Happy Halloween from Country Magic Stitch, another Etsy store. I did iron these, I did. So I'm stitching this on 16 count Ada in black by Cosmo. And can I tell you that I love that I usually don't like Ada because it's too stiff. I know some people like it really stiff, but this is really soft and the needle glides through it like butter like a butter so here's a little bat it'll say happy halloween there's going to be a cob of i can't show you these because they don't have finished patterns so it's the actual pattern itself it'll have a cobweb and a spider and i am stitching this with a white it's stitched two over one with a white swab de alger i think it's a silk i don't know i found it in my stash so I thought, mm, why not? I'll try it. I'll try it. And then the next one is another cell that I'm working on. It is the Spring Blessing cell by Tiny Modernist. And I love the spring colors in this. Love. I am way behind though, because I started like way after the cell started. Um, so hopefully I'll get it done by um, Easter, the end of next month maybe. Maybe. So this is how far along I am. And it's so like, so kind of tiny. Like the stitches are tiny. So I'm stitching this on 32 count Lamb's Wool Linen by Witchell. Stitch two over two with the called for DMC. But the flipping colors are so gorge. So gorge. Love it. It's so cute. Okay, moving on. I am also stitching another gift, but this is also Christmas, so double duty. Uh, a Christmas story pattern by Plato Squirrel, another designer that I was turned on to um, by Kristen from Steel City Stitchers. So this is a Christmas story, like from the movie. My, um, brother-in-law loves this movie so i'm gonna give it to him but i'm only just started the border so and i'm stitching this on 28 count um pale misty blue even weave well you can see it right there even weave by dove stitch it's really pale like barely there pale blue um so I'm stitching the border and then it'll have all of the characters and then um, a quote from the movie, which I thought was really cute. I can't wait to make Ralphie in his bunny suit. And my next one is Land That I Love by Country Cottage Needleworks because I love Country Cottage Needleworks. There isn't really many designers that I don't love, can I be honest? Can I love them all? Can I love them all? Can I stitch them all? We'll see. So this one I'm probably the farthest along in. Um, I am stitching this on 25 count Barley Lugana um, Vintage Cloth by Lori Holt. And can I just tell you this fabric feels so nice and it just I'm gonna have to back up there we go so I made a little boo-boo over here with the spacing but no one's gonna know but me 
I'm not going to frog out the whole thing just to fix a space. No. Not doing it. And I use, I'm stitching this two over two, but I'm stitching it with the Conversion Floss Pack by Priscilla and Chelsea, stitching with the Housewives, their um, classic Color Works thread pack from Fat Quarter Shop. Um, and the variegation is so pretty, like especially in, I want to say, I don't know if my camera's going to be able to show it, but like the blue how am I gonna do this I'll, I'll get it someday you probably can't see it but the and it's not gonna focus but the blue variegation on this love it just stop stop already okay the next one I have been wanting to do this pattern forever since before I got married because I knew I wanted to have it with my wedding um, photos and with the wedding photos of my in-laws and my grandparents my in-laws grandparents um, it's an Irish blessing sampler by sweetheart tree the sweetheart tree we are super super Irish um, my husband is about I don't know. This might as well be 100% Irish. Um, his family came out. He's only second generation. So, um, and my family is very Irish as well. So I wanted to do this Irish blessing, but I'm scared of it because there are so many specialty stitches and I am freaked out by specialty stitches. So I am not far along on this at all. So this is how far I got. That's it. Just that side a little bit. I'm still trying to figure out satin stitches and there are so many back stitches. And we all know we hate to back stitch, right? But if we don't back stitch, it doesn't look good. It doesn't. Let's be honest. It just won't. So this is stitched on 32 count Lambswell Linen by Witchell using all the called for flosses, which there's some fancy floss, some DMC, some pearl cotton. There are beads and there's a charm and I hope I do it justice. That's all I can say. I hope I do it justice. I'm going to have it professionally framed if I ever finish it. Hopefully it doesn't become a UFO, an unfinished object, but I'm hoping that I'll be good. And then my last whip, the last one, is the Valentine Gnome. I, I, I need to practice this more, I think. The Valentine Gnome from my Studio Create. Brooke, cute, cutest gnomes ever. I bought all of the gnomes every single one and you know why I bought every single one because my son saw it and he said oh mommy that gnome is so cute can you make that for me so I'm gonna finish I think I'm gonna finish a lot of them in hoops and hang them on his uh, bedroom door because he loves them and then he specifically asked me mommy can you ask Brooke or the lady I think he said the lady maybe to make a turkey gnome Yes, a turkey now for Thanksgiving. So I asked Brooke, we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll get a turkey now. But he is so cute. So I stitched this on 28 count Lugana in the colorway dwarf. And I think this is, I didn't write down who this was. I don't know if this is dove stitch or not. So. I stitched a two over two with the called for DMC, except I substituted a few things. I substituted the white DMC for white DMC at 12 because I wanted to be shiny and kind of like he had an old gray shiny beard. And I substituted the DMC 602 for DMC silk 602. So that's the really shiny. 
Oh, yeah, now you can see it. You can see the shiny in the Etoile, but this pink, powder pink, is the silk. And I think it looks so cute. And there's the silk, too, on his little hat. Over there. So those are all my whips. And that's a lot of whips. I think. I think it's a lot of whips. And again, I'm sorry for looking off at myself. Is that the wrong way to do it? I guess I'll fit, figure out. So when you all critique me, you can tell me how horrible it is that I can't look in the right spot and that I have my camera wrong and everything's backwards. All the words are backwards. But I hope you'll be gentle. Give me a break till I figure this thing out. Um, I wanted to start a segment called like Enabler of the Week because I feel like we all enable each other to buy things that we normally wouldn't buy unless we saw someone else doing it. So this week, the enabler of the week is um, for Be My Boo, Abby Top Notch Stitcher. I saw that little ghosty, the spoopy ghost, running around on Instagram and flying all over the place, so I had to go buy him. Had to. Then, the other enabler, Frosted Pumpkin. Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. I had to buy the 2020 Cozy Cafe Club Sal. Went on sale today. Today is February 15th. I almost missed it because I logged on to my computer at 1.23 Eastern Standard Time. And can I tell you that all the kits were sold out. So I wasn't able to get a kit, but I was able to get the linen with the pattern. And, the be and I bought the beads too. So I'll just have to get the floss myself. Eh, no biggie. Hopefully I have most of the floss. Because I do have a lot of DMC. So those are my two enablers of the week. I'm hoping to do... Wow, why do I have such a wrinkly eye? Do you all see that? And I don't wear makeup, so what the... What the... What the what? That's what my son used to say when he was little. What the what? Um... I have no stitchy loot or haul this week. Uh, I placed some orders, so next video I should have some stitchy loot and some haul. Um, plans are just to continue working on my whips and probably, maybe not this week, but the following week, I will um, have some f more FFOs because we're coming up on March. So I like to get all my March stuff done before March actually starts. Um, and I'll be working on some St. Patrick's Day stuff, hopefully, depending on how much I can get done of these whips. And um, I think that's that, you know, between working. Oh, and I go to school too, so. So yeah, sorry about that. So yes, between working, schoolwork, baseball, hubby, dishes. Thankfully, I don't cook. I do the dishes, but... You know, hopefully I'll get some more stitching done and be able to provide you guys with some more fun, stitchy stuff. Um, I want to thank this whole community for being so supportive and so kind and just fun. The You know, the ladies and gents that do this make me laugh and give me such great hope for humanity that there are some still awesomely awesome and totally rad and kick-ass women and men in this world. So I just wanted to be a part of it. So if you like this video, please hit the little thumbs up, you know, thumbs up, and subscribe and give me some tips on how I can do this without effing it up, messing it up. Um, and I love all you guys. You guys have been great and I can't wait to jump on board this floss tube train. See you guys later.